knowledge. I happen to be here as a tourist for another couple of weeks, so I figure this is my last chance to see you. <laughs> I see you also as young man, as he did, but I was see you as young communists in the Eastern Europe. You were communist not only for 60s, but for 70s, 80s. And I remember in 89 or 90, I spoke with you, and you told me that you were proud to be communist, mm -hmm. and that it was not for communist party and the socialist bloc, that countries like Namibia, for example, would not exist, and that South Africa would still have apartheid. And now that we see that there is no more socialist states, or not the socialist bloc, and we see that countries like United States of America can go into Iraq, can go tomorrow into Syria. I want just, and I'm sorry that it's not maybe on subject of Black Panther Party, but I want you to, how do you feel about yourself as being for, what, some 30 years member of Communist Party and the, uh, what the whole world was looking at you like beautiful communists from the United States of America? And what do you think that you left party and how do you believe now about theory of socialism? And I'm here only on vacation, so any CIA agent, <laughs> I go. Well, I don't feel very different from, when did we talk? When did, when did I say that to you? Where? <laughs> Not in this country. Okay, now, now I can imagine where it was, okay. <laughs> um, well, I did um, actually leave the Communist Party, not because I feel any less passionately that we need to build um, social, socialism, communism, but rather because of the... Um, failure to democratize the, the party, the internal workings of the party. So I, I actually, actually, I got um, a whole bunch of us who were members of the leadership were not allowed to run. And because we had circulated a petition designed to encourage, but you know, that, that was back then. And I should say that I have very, uh, uh, good relationships with members of the Communist Party and I, you know, I still, I, even though I'm, I'm, I may not be a communist with a large C, I'm still a communist with a small C. Um, I still believe that capitalism cannot inform the future of this planet. Uh, and I, you know, I, um, and when I, when I look at Cuba, you know, I think back to the Panthers and I say, right on. <laughs> I mean, oh, don't let me get started about Cuba. But you, you, when, when Hurricane Katrina um, happened and we were all watching the news and there was no help and no one knew People had no idea what was going on. And Fidel announced that there were something like 1,100 doctors at the airport in Havana with all of the equipment they could possibly need and they were ready to get on a plane and could have been in New Orleans within two hours. Huh? Well, no, it's 90 miles from Florida, from Key West. It's a little bit further to New Orleans. Uh, but, um, and the fact that, the fact that Cuba had been able to deal with, you know, Hurricane Ivan and had done these, uh, evac not, not only evacuations of people, but people, their animals were evacuated. And people who wanted to evacuate their color televisions were able to evacuate, you know, their property. Um, and not a single person died. I mean, that's actually quite amazing. And I thought it was quite ironic that 
this program that Cuba has, did, I, like I said, this is the last thing I'm going to say about because I tend to go on and on about uh, Cuba. But there is this program uh, designed to train medical doctors from uh, third world countries, countries in the global south, but also uh, poor people, people of color in the U.S. And it's been going on for like a, about the last four years, four or five years. The first U.S. person the first U.S. MD to graduate from that program in Cuba was ironically from New Orleans. Um, so yeah, I have a great deal of, of respect for those who uh, are going against the grain and insist on uh, uh, arguing that you know capitalism is not capitalism cannot be our future. Um, it cannot be our future. If it is, uh, so many of the people whom we count as our community will be lost forever. I mean, that is what this whole prison industrial complex is about. You know, that is what the privatization of health care and the privatization of education and the privatization of punishment, that whole juggernaut of privatization. But let me stop because I'll... <laughs> okay. That, is that uh, an okay answer? Okay. <laughs> Okay.